Hello everybody, it's Dave Neal here, uh, host of Bachelor Nation News, and this video that I'm making right now for you is unlike anything I've really ever made here um, on the channel. It's going to be wordy and maybe um, uh, not right to the point, uh, so that's kind of like most of my videos, but um, I wanted to offer a personal apology to Victoria Fuller and Greg Grippo uh, separately uh, for the reporting that I did this past fall regarding the Victoria Fuller, Johnny DiFilippo breakup and the subsequent Victoria Fuller and Greg Grippo relationship. If you're not new to my channel, you know we pretty much go hard into all the ins and outs of stories in the Bachelor world. And I reported, <clears throat> and I want to also make a note that I was not asked by Victoria or Greg or anybody to apologize. I wasn't threatened with any sort of lawsuit or anything like that. It's just my own <laughs> moral barometer needs recalibration with this specific issue. And I probably would have liked to have apologized sooner. And for what uh, uh, specifically, I'm going to get into that. Uh, but it really comes down to just not feeling like the tone of the content that I made lived up to what I would want my channel to be about. We always say everyone's doing the best with the information they have and what you see on the show is not always what's going on in real life and a, a show relationship or a show engagement doesn't always uh, mean that that's what a real life one is. And essentially what went down, as far as we all know from watching the show, is that Johnny Filippo and Victoria Fuller got engaged on Bachelor in Paradise. Their relationship didn't work out. And before that story played out on the TV, as we watched, uh, Victoria and Greg were spotted in Rome uh, doing their, you know, on a, on a first date or whatever. Now, for anyone watching, they look at the timeline and this looks super messy. I mean, she hasn't even um, officially broken up on camera with Johnny Filippo. You know, that hasn't aired. But what we have to remember is Bachelor in Paradise is super messy. The thing that I specifically want to apologize for, and I believe I've already sent a DM to Victoria actually a few months ago, and I've just been sort of, to be quite honest, kicking the can down the road because I, it's, it's, it's a point of resistance because it's like, what do I say? Um, I'm not, I'm not, um, well, let's put it this way. The specific thing that I am sorry for is I shared information about several sources that I had that were saying that Victoria cheated on Johnny with Greg. And I knew when I shared that information, I would never have a metaphorical smoking gun. I would never have receipts or proof or anything like that. I knew it was going to be a he said, she said. That type of source only works in an instance where there's going to be a finality. So say LeBron James is getting traded from the Lakers to the Heat, just as an example. If I know that that's about to happen tomorrow and I tweet, LeBron, breaking news, LeBron James is going to be traded, that'll have a payoff because I'll then be right the next day or wrong the next day. The issue with Victoria and Greg and Johnny is that there was never going to be any hard proof that they broke up after Victoria and Greg started dating and this and that. So what I did, even though I told people there will never be hard proof, this is just what I'm hearing, I added my credibility to a conversation that would further bring hate towards Victoria and her relationship with Greg. Greg Grippo has always been a kind guy. He really doesn't and has no track record at all of stoking up drama within the Bachelor world. Now, Victoria, of course, has been in the center of different dramatic storylines, but we do believe that people are trying the best with the info they have, that they are striving to be better versions of themselves tomorrow than they were today and better today than they were yesterday and all that jazz, absolutely. And I believe that should not be true for Victoria as well. So this video, while it is, what I don't know, six months plus or nine months after the story, whenever it was, it's just it's just a point that I have something that I wanted to get off my chest, that there was no hate thrown my way, no DMs from Victoria or Greg, none of that whatsoever. I spoke about my sources knowing I wouldn't have tangible proof, and I spoke in a way that would be fair to somebody in a Reddit thread or, or something like that, but what I've 
had to realize and remember, because it's not the type of story I normally do, is that I've got a responsibility as somebody who makes a lot of content to make sure that I'm fair. And it's not fair of me to, it's not fair of me to talk about certain things if I can't provide the evidence to back that up in this type of case. I looked at it and I go, I go, Dave, what are you doing? Like, I'm a comedian. My, I, the, my true like passion in life is to make an audience laugh, bring people together, things like that. That's not like to, to, to put me in some sort of like, um, place of superiority. I get a kick out of that. That's, that's what fuels my dopamine cravings. Right. Um, in this story and everything about it didn't hit. Now, do I think it would have been absolutely fair to look at the photos that were out there of Greg and Victoria in Rome and speculate on their relationship? Yeah, absolutely. But I've said this all along. When a couple gets engaged on a, on one of these TV shows, the engagement is just like a hope that things could work out. It's, you know, it, it, that's we know because it only works 1% to 4% of the time. So when Johnny and Victoria got engaged on the show, it, it, happy for them, good for them. They just weren't going to work out. She was several years ahead of him into her world of influencing in that life and he was new and he didn't have the I don't know they were just on different different pages for Victoria to then initiate a conversation with Greg who she finds out is single I think that's fair I think it was fair that you know Victoria believed that her and Greg weren't going to be a thing and then she gets off the show and things with Johnny aren't working out right. We call it emotional cheating. But if I look at the way I reported on Katie Thurston and her relationship with John Hersey following her breakup with Blake Moynes, I fully believe Katie never intended to move on with the guy that was a friend. There's what there's a reason there's a meme about that where it's like, oh, the guy you thought that wasn't a problem slides in. It's because that's just how life works sometimes. Someone that's close might end up becoming somebody that has a romantic thing, right? This isn't an instance like the Vanderpump Scandival uh, story where there was clear deceit, clear lying. Ariana was being cheated on by her longtime boyfriend, Tom Sandoval, with Raquel Levis. We've been covering that, you know, in a separate story. That's a clear just path of destruction. With Victoria and Greg, it's almost like... um. It's, it's it's things are so sped up on Bachelor in Paradise. It's almost like you go to a singles dating night, like a matchmaking night. Which, by the way, uh, our good friend um, has one in St. Pete. Is that where it is in Florida this week? Shout out! Um, uh, we had posted that on Instagram earlier this week. But uh, the, the point is here is it's like going to a singles event, and Johnny and Victoria hit it off. But then as Victoria's about to leave the single event with Johnny. She makes eye contact with Greg and then they kind of have a thing and she has to choose like, oh, you know, whatever. It's kind of like, it's messy like that, right? So it's not like our real lives where we meet someone, we go on the, we're on the make, we're going steady, you know, all that, all that, you know, the a boomer terminology. And then six months later, we start texting someone else. It's just not like that. And anyway, so my apology is because I, 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 what I should have done is, not share sources that would that wouldn't be able to be proven one way or another and i understand you know i reality steve's talked about it in the past where he's had sources that were wrong and the truth is is you have to be careful um on my end to and again i'm not a victim here you know what i mean you have to be careful on my end not to get too excited about tea that you might have. I've never been the person to spoil shows. I've never, and I've talked about this extensively with former leads and other content creators and this and that and like the moral dilemma there because it's, it's just not my place. And trust me when I say guys like Reality Steve sit on so much information they don't share. He's got so much information that can make so many different people look bad because the truth is, is that we've all, we've all done things we regret. We've all been messy. We've all learned from our mistakes. I personally would like to um, not see Victoria or Greg as some sort of like couple that start, you know, like they, they, they deserve the right to... Um, have their relationship celebrated in the bachelor world as much as anybody else. And Johnny DeFilippo does with whoever he finds. I think they all deserve that. I think the canvas for how the show works, even if it spills out a few weeks or even a month after the filming, I think that messiness that the show creates, that snow globe that they just shake, I think 
the dust settles on that and they all have a, they're all kind of trying to pursue each other. And, um, it's not like normal life. It shouldn't be compared that way. So anyway, that's my personal apology. I'll also privately message them, but I wanted to put that out here. I'll work, um, in the next couple days on removing pretty much any of those videos. Not that look, the damage is already done, right? It's just, it's just, um, what, what I'm trying to tell you is the same thing I'm trying to tell myself, which is it's not worth the the dopamine hit or whatever from covering those stories. And I think for the most part, my track record has been like, I'm not breaking stories. That's someone else's job. If, if, if you want to see it as still just as morally uh, bankrupt that I comment on those stories. Okay. But I think for the most part, when I make my content, I try to, um, I try to calm down the flames that are caused from rumors and stories like that. I missed the mark here. And for that, I do apologize. Um, I would never expect Victoria and or Greg to want to do like a driving with Dave episode. And I'm not offering this to them in any sort of way to monetize on them. But if they want to be, uh, if they do want to do a driving with Dave, either one of them and, um, and, and I would be glad to donate the proceeds to any charity of their, uh, of, of their liking either way. I wish them the best. And, I will try my best in every case within the Bachelor world to get it right and keep calibrating uh, that direction that we're trying to go. Uh, everyone have a fantastic weekend. We'll talk to you later.